Sheldon Carter, and I'm the project director at Digital Extremes on Darkness 2. Darkness 1 was definitely considered a cult hit, and I, I think it's a great game. Um, we're fans, like, you know, it's like this game is like a game that's made by fans of the, of the first game. So it's not, we don't feel any added pressure, we feel like it's a privilege that we get to work on it. In terms of differences between Darkness 1 and Darkness 2, I think the key difference is kind of like the quad wielding that you probably saw in the demo there. Basically, you know, the demon arms are things that you're always using. You've got, you know, you can grab a car door, it can protect you, you're shooting, you're slashing with the other demon arm, you're throwing it, cutting guys in half. So it's more of a... Like, it's a more action focus to the game. Narrative is still super important. It's kind of our main, like, uh, pillar of the game is, you know, in service of story. But in terms of combat, I think that's where we're different from, uh, from Darkness 1. In terms of the art style, uh, we call it graphic noir. And uh, we drew our inspiration directly from the comic books. So, you know, if you picked up a, uh, a version of, you know, the Top Cow comics and all together and just kind of rifled through them, the colors are going to pop out at you, especially the red from the blood and the, and the blacks. Um, and we wanted it to feel like that. We wanted it to feel like when you're playing this game, you feel like you're playing a graphic novel. So we really concentrated on the high contrast lighting, just like the, the graphic novels look like. Um, we concentrated on the hand-drawn textures and kind of a hatching on the characters and in the environment. So really, we just wanted it to be like what we read and we all loved. In terms of where, uh, you know, we're using a different engine than uh, was Darkness 1. We're using actually uh, Digital Extremes' proprietary engine. It's called the Evolution Engine. We built Dark Sector in it. Um, and for this game, I think people will be able, because of the narrative, there's such a strong link between the two games. Narratively, I think that, you know, fans of the first game will instantly understand where they are. New fans, I, th I think there's still a lot there, though. There's still, like, we have enough history. We're so, like I said, so narratively focused. They're going to get it right away. Um, so I think, yeah, I think you can jump right in. So the plot of Darkness 2, I mean, that I can tell you, I mean, the thing about a game like The Darkness is you want to keep the story tight. Uh, you know, imagine if you played Darkness 1 and you already knew that Jenny on the couch, you were going to have, you know, watch To Killing Mockingbird, or you knew that you were going to watch her die. Um, for Darkness, uh, sorry about the spoilers, um, for those who haven't played it, uh, in Darkness 2, the, the, the only thing we're really talking about with plot-wise so far is that it's two years later, uh, Jackie's the Don now of the Estacado family, and uh, I guess from what you've seen in the demo, someone is there is trying to take the darkness from Jackie. We know that those are the things. Yes, there's parts of it that is about you know the fantasy of being a hitman with the with the demon inside, but even more important um, is this narrative story and these little small moments that that make the world a difference that separate the darkness from all the other games out there. So uh, we definitely have that coming back in Darkness too. So Paul Jenkins is back on, on Darkness 2, and I think, you know, when we talk about, uh, I guess the, when the press release says hardcore tenderness, I guess what it's talking about is the fact that, you know, just because we have this kind of balls out action, uh, and, you know, you're, you're cutting guys in half, right? The demon arms are, are deadly weapons, um, and so are the guns, but, uh, but you know, there's still these moments, these moments in time where you get to know the character in an intimate and personal way that you don't normally see in that type of game. Yeah, Mike Patton's back and we're really excited. I mean, on top of being huge fans of Faith No More, Mr. Bungle, and all his other projects uh, at Digital Extremes, we just felt like he brought the character of the darkness alive. You know, he's the, he's the voice that taunts Jackie. Um, so it was super important. I mean, we, we just really didn't want to go forward without him and uh, so we're so excited that he's on board. I think the things, in terms of gameplay, um, the two things that I'd say are, are different and um, from the first one that, that we really love are, one is the quad wielding. So I think just that ability, again, to be able to do multiple things. Every time you approach a combat encounter, you're thinking about, wow, I've got all these tools. I've got a, you know, grabbing and throwing. I've got slashing. I've got one gun, two gun, shotgun. So it's like all these things kind of in one package. The other side of that is the Darklings, uh, or the Darkling in Darkness 2. In, in Darkness 1, you had this kind of set of gameplay tools that you'd command and you'd solve puzzles with. And while it was interesting, they didn't really have a character. And Darkness 2 is a personal story. Um, and the, uh, the Darkling is now the this, this sidekick character. He's someone you care about. He does a lot of the same things that those guys did, except he does them in a way that is unique to himself and has story impact. What we liked about the Darklings in Darkness 1 was that there was a comedy element to them. So we want to keep that. I mean, in, in the demo that you just saw, I mean, he's, he's, he's peeing on a corpse. You know, he's still got these kind of thing. They still have this kind of crudeness and funniness to them. Um, but at the same time, there's a personality and a character as well. Uh, I mean, I guess for us, I mean, we've been working on the project for about two years. So for us, I mean, it just started once 2K came to us and said, hey, do you want to make the Darkness 2? And, you know, the fans were like, yes, yes, please, we'll do that. Um, so, I mean, for us, it hasn't been that long that we've been working on the project. Between 
between games, yeah, hopefully that just builds the anticipation. It was a great project for, for Digital Extremes. I mean, when you have a publisher like 2K that comes and says, hey, we've got this property, it's Darkness 2, do you guys like it? And you've got this huge contingent of us who just love that game. I mean, it was a, you know, let's jump at that opportunity. I think our goal for the darkness is just, I mean, we don't, at least as developers, we're not thinking too, so much necessarily about, you know, the, is it going to blow up as a, as a huge hit and franchise? We're just looking at, you know, how, how awesome can we make the story experience for the player? How awesome is the gameplay experience? Hopefully the rest of the stuff just kind of takes care of itself.